And we're recording. Hi, I'm Sherry Minnelli from RJM Music, and today I'm here with Rod Minnelli. And we're going to take you through some things on the mastermind. We have um, masterminds, I guess, uh, this will work on all of our masterminds. We've got the Mastermind GT, the LT, the PBC 10, and the PBC 6X. Basically, it's the same firmware. And um, uh, oh, I'm looking at the chat there. Anyway, um, for those who don't know who we are, um, we've been making um, equipment for primarily guitar players for the last 15 years. Um, we're best known for probably, um, we're best known by the bigger um, touring bands. Um, we we started working a long time ago at the very beginning with Zappa and Rascal Flatts and Def Leppard and sold to Rush and Fall Out Boy, Guns N' Roses, Imagine Dragons. Um, and then uh, more recently, in the last several years, uh, the worship market's become pretty big for us, I think, because of the PBCs, uh, the, the pedal board controllers. So anyway, um, just I uh, wanted to give you a little background on us, and I'm going to hand this over to Ron, and he's going to talk about expression pedals today. So here you go, Ron. <laughs> okay, right. So um, expression pedals. So basically, that's just a um, you know, it's a it's a pedal like a you know volume pedal or, or wall pedal, but specifically, it's used to um, just effectively generate a number, you know, from like all the way down to all the way up, and and basically, the masterminds will be able to um, send MIDI commands based on that um, and, and control other devices. Um, it's important to note that, um, you know, that, that the expression pedal is only used for, um, you know, MIDI control. And so there's nothing internal, not even in the PVCs that, you know, that you can control internally. So it's always you know, controlling your, your various effect pedals. And, you know, there are an awful lot of uh, MIDI capable pedals these days that you can control, uh, you know, using the expression pedal. Um, the Mastermind GT series all have four expression pedal inputs and the LT and PVC series um, have one. We're gonna be looking at uh, the, uh, the editor for the PVC, or excuse me, for the GT, uh, but basically the settings are going to be all the same. Um, with the exception of just the number of expression pedals that are available. Um, so in the, uh, when you get an expression pedal, there's a few things to, to uh, make note of. There are two different polarities of expression pedals. And um, if you get the wrong one, it's, well, it's gonna kind of work, but it's not gonna work well. And it's, it's gonna do weird things like all of the, all of the uh, actual change in the value is gonna happen at one end of the pedal. Um, we have information on our website um, in the support section on which ones work and which ones don't. Um, we also sell a, a pedal specifically for the Mastermind series that uh, Mission Engineering makes for us. Um, a few other ones off the top of my head, um, Korg and Rocktron also make um, pedals um, by default that, that you know, work immediately with our stuff. Even if you do have a pedal that, that uh, doesn't have the right polarity, it's just, you just need a, uh, an adapter cable to fix it. Um, the uh, Voss and Roland pedals are, and, the, uh, and the Fractal pedal are the other polarity. And so you would need a, a cable, a TRS cable that swaps the tip and the ring on, on uh, one end, and that will take care of the polarity problem and then the pedal will work fine. Um, let's see here. The, also the, uh, the Mission pedal that they make for us has a, a toe switch, like a, a, a wah pedal. And so that's sort of an added feature that we have, um, and most uh, most pedals don't come with those. So that's if you if you need that kind of functionality, that uh, would definitely be the pedal uh, that you're looking for. And again, in the manual and on our website, we have in more information about how these pedals are wired. If you want to make your own or modify one or anything like that. Um, so basically, the pedal is pretty simple. You would just connect it from the uh, you know pedal output to one. Uh, the expression pedal input or one of them on the GT using a TRS cable. Um, if it's uh, our model with the toe switch, there's a second output and that one connects to the external switch input on the, uh, on the, on the, uh, the GT PVC, etc. cetera. Um, there are a few things you want to set up. Well, the most important thing to set up, there is an uh, calibration process 
on the GT and LT and PVC and you um, go into the setup menu and you want to calibrate the pedal first to make sure that uh, there aren't any dead spots in its travel and you get you know a full range of, uh, of values from from top to bottom. Um, so once you've you know got the hardware connected then you would want to get into the editor and start actually looking at the parameters. Um, in the global tab here in the editor um, you'll see in this global section setting you'll see your, your expression pedal or pedals. We have a GT here, so there are four. And if you double click one of them, it'll pop up a window. Um, you can name the pedal, um, and the important stuff is right in the uh, center here. And um, basically, you would tell it which device you want to control, and um, your devices would be set up in the devices tab, and that's uh, the topic of, a, of another video, and, and also, um, also, uh, you know, described in the manual, but basically you do need to have all of your MIDI devices listed in the devices tab. And so you would choose a device and actually let's put something in there that's actually, you know, has, uh, will respond to an expression pedal. So let's go in here to devices and we'll pick a Strymon timeline and we'll put that on MIDI channel two. Um, and we can go back to global, edit the expression pedal again, and now we can choose the timeline. And so um, now you have to tell it what um, CC number you're transmitting, and each parameter on the device um, has a different number. Um, those are listed in the pedals manuals. And if it's one that um, you know actually is, we, you can choose by name. Um, if you pop this open, you'll see that um, there are a bunch of parameters. Some of them make sense uh, for use in an expression pedal, like you know, time and repeats and mix and things like that. And some of them definitely do not, um, like the looper controls, you probably wouldn't want uh, to, you know, control looper record with your expression pedal. Uh, probably not at least. Um, some pedals have a dedicated expression pedal, um, uh, actual parameter. And uh, this is really cool um, on like the Strymons and some of the other pedals that do this because you can, by using just sort of the generic expression pedal uh, parameter, um, on the pedal, you can actually set it up to, um, you know, control multiple knob settings all at the same time, um, just using, um, you know, a single expression pedal. So, you, for example, you could have the, you know, the mix change and the rate change, you know, and uh, and the uh, the number of repeats change all at the same time, and um, you know, and change that from preset to preset. So. So you've chosen your device and you've chosen, you've chosen what you want to control on that device. And then um, you have uh, minimum and maximum values. And in uh, MIDI speak, uh, zero is the lowest possible value and 127 is the highest possible value. So if we were doing something a little simpler here, um, like let's say we're just going back to the, uh, the, uh, the mix here, um, you know, zero would be, probably 100% dry and 127 would be 100% wet. They could be reversed, I don't remember what it is on the timeline. And then the, uh, you know, a 50-50 mix would definitely be like 63, which is in, in the middle of these. And so you can not just control a parameter all the way from one end to the other, but you could, you know, just set these limits accordingly and just have smaller changes where you could go from, you know, 50 to 100 or, you know, 50 to 80% or whatever, just by, um, you know, kind of playing with these numbers and, um, you know, ch restricting the range that the, uh, the pedal can uh, go through. Um, you'll note that there's a second list of, uh, of uh, uh, device parameters here, and you can control two, vice two devices at the same time um, with one pedal. And so if we were to define a, uh, a second pedal here, we would go to, let's say, We've got a timeline we can you know put a uh, a uh, strymon <laughs> strymon mobius and always set for a different midi channel then we go back um and we can go and you know pick the mobius and then control a different parameter on the you know we could say for example change the speed on the mobius and um you know we could um do something completely different we could invert it so that uh, you know when the mix 
is all the way down, the rate is all the way up, and and uh, vice versa. And um, you know, it doesn't matter which order these uh, these numbers are. Um, you can well, you can use either order. It will have a big effect on what uh, what how the pedal responds, of course. And so yes, you can have multiple you know two simultaneous pedals going for any preset or for any uh, any pedal. Um, if you don't want the second pedal, you just set it to uh, to none. And then um, let's see. I think what I'll do next is um, we'll talk about the uh, overrides. So this is the global settings here. And so you know this is just what the pedal does all or most of the time. And you know regardless of you know whatever preset you're on, it's going to control those parameters. But let's say you have um, a specific parameter that you wanted to control most of the time, but on certain presets, um, you want to change it to something else. So we'll go over to the presets tab here. And let's say preset 10, we want the expression pedal to do something different. And so you look in this little section over here with the expression pedal overrides, and this is controlling, um, well, <laughs> the overrides. And so you'll see your pedals listed here. And if we want to override one in preset 10, we can just check it and hit edit. And you'll see that same screen again. And we can say, well, on, um, you know, on this particular patch, we want to control only the, um, you know, only the level on the Mobius, for example. And um, that's it. So when preset 10 is selected, um, it's, going to, it's going to control that parameter. And then any other preset um, will go back to the global parameters. And so you can have a different override on every preset if you want to, but uh, we found it's pretty convenient to have, you know, normally you use one um, setting and, and uh, that's what you can set on the global level. So that covers presets. Um, there is another way to do it as well. Um, we won't go too far into this, but if we go back to globals here and you look beyond global settings, you'll see these stored settings here. And if you scroll through them, there's a 128 different stored settings or settings blocks as we refer to them in the manual. And um, these ones are just other settings that you can recall um, at any time. And so we can just, for example, pick expression pedal zero and we'll just pick, you know, now we'll say timeline and we'll control the, uh, the filter on it, let's say. Um, and we can even just call this uh, timeline. And the reason you would want to do this is let's say instead of when we switch presets, we want to have a button that changes what the expression pedal can do. And so um, we'll go to our buttons tab. We'll open up one of these buttons, double click it. And we will remove the action from the button. And we're going to add a new action. And we're going to go system expression pedal. And so we're going to, so this allows us to have, have a button control which settings the uh, expression pedal is going to use. And what we'll say, is, well, we're going to control expression pedal one. That's what we've been working with all along. And when the button is off, um, I should mention these buttons on the side here, if you ever see one of these with the three dots, um, you can type in a number here, but if you click over here, um, not only does it give you a list of all the expression pedal blocks, but it also gives you a few um, special values that uh, you know are kind of outside the normal range. And so what we want to say is the, um, we'll say global here, we'll hit okay. And on this one, we're gonna keep it at zero. So what that means is when this button is turned off, it's going to um, use the global settings that we defined at the beginning. And when we turn the button on, it's gonna use uh, the settings block number zero. Um, so if we go over here, and actually let's name that just to keep things straight. Um, anyway, so call it whatever you like. Um, and so if we go back here at our global, so, we, so we're going to be using, when the button is off, we're going to use this setting. And when the button is on, we're going to use this um, timeline filter setting. And so this can be done independent of presets. Um, you can just... Uh, you know, you can do this at any time. And so it's just another, another way to override the global setting. And this one isn't dependent on presets like the other one is. So we've done that. Um, let's see, we can go back to our global settings here. 
and um, we should talk about the uh, position switch. And this is uh, another option. Um, there, there are several, uh, well, there are two switch options. Um, this one we haven't talked about yet. And this one basically allows us to automatically switch something when the position, when the pedal moves to a certain position. Um, and so it's, it's, it's not the switch that's actually physically on some of our pedals where you press it, but this one actually just, you can set a position um, where um, yeah, moving above it or below it turns something on. This is particularly useful for, uh, you know, for, you know, you know, wah type effects and things like that. Um, what we can do, let's, um, actually, we'll, we'll do this on a different pedal um, just to uh, keep our other settings around. So we'll say on expression pedal two, um, we want to control the Mobius and we want to control, um, and I cannot remember off the top of my head which one of these controls the, uh, the wah feature or the, uh, the, the filter level. I'm gonna say it's parameter one. Um, it may be, need to be parameter two or it may need to be expression pedal. But anyway, I'm gonna set it to this. And so this basically we'll say is controlling the, um, you know, the, the, the filter frequency of the Mobius. So we're making it basically a wah pedal at this point. But what we wanna do is we wanna turn it on and off at some points. So we can set a, an action here for the position switch. Um, it's a CC toggle and we want to talk to the Mobius. And then we're going to select this here and we're going to look for bypass. And so now um, when, the, uh, when, when the pedal is below a certain point, it's actually going to bypass the pedal, you know, thus turning off the wah. And then when you raise it, it's going to uh, turn it on. Now, um, there is another thing here you have to do on the, uh, on the, on the mastermind itself. And that is to set the um, that position, like where do you want it to switch? Um, I don't have one right here to to show you, uh, but basically what you do is you um, go into settings on the uh, mastermind, go into expression pedals, and there is a uh, an option that says set switch position, and you basically move your pedal um, to where you want that that switch point to be. And like the way I do it typically is, you know, um, is uh, raise the pedal all the way up or push it all the way down depending on what you want and then just back it off a little bit um, from that position just just a hair and then um, hit set switch set switch position and it will remember that position um, you do have to read the settings from the mastermind back into the uh, into the editors to so that the editor remembers that that switch position then once you've done it once then it'll it'll keep it for you and so then, um, you know, that will give you a, uh, a wah effect that, uh, that turns on um, when you get to all the way on or all the way off. Um, and um, that brings me to this thing here, invert position switch. And um, if you find that it's doing the wrong thing, like if it's turning it on when it should be off or vice versa, all you have to do is hit this checkbox and it will uh, flip it so that, um, you know, what was on was, is off now and, and vice versa. Um, okay, other things. Um, the taper values are a little hard to describe in, in short, but basically, if you use a volume pedal as an expression pedal, um, you'll notice that um, that the uh, the value change doesn't. You know, as you move the pedal uh, down all the way up, you know, on a on a good expression pedal, it's going to just travel naturally, and the the whatever you're adjusting is going to smoothly move up. Um, if you use a volume pedal for that, you're going to notice it's going to, um, most of the change is going to be at one end of the pedal. Um, this is described in the, the manual a bit, and um, basically you can use these numbers to try to compensate for that. Um, and um, yeah, I, it's, it's not, it's, it's a, uh, it depends on the pedal you're using, and it depends, uh, well, on a few things. And so um, I would have to refer you to the manual on that or, or mail it email us at uh, support at rjmmusic.com and we can uh, we can help you uh, calibrate those but if you just use a uh, a pedal that's intended to be an expression pedal or it's a volume pedal that has an expression output you won't need these parameters at all and you can set them to zero um, one other parameter here is a send current value and basically what that does is um, 
normally when you switch from preset to preset, the expression pedal doesn't do anything until you move the pedal. Um, and when you, if you turn this on, what's gonna happen is it'll switch presets and then it will send the pedal's current value um, in whatever position it's in. And this, depending on your application, it may not matter at all, um, or sometimes it may be actually quite important if you wanna make sure that that current uh, pedal position is, is always in effect, even when you change presets. Okay, and we've got all of those. Um, were there any questions at this point? I haven't seen any, so we'll, we'll leave it at that. Um, uh, uh, so far, nobody has questions. It sounds like everybody's understanding and it makes sense. Okay. Do the chat. So I made sure that everybody thought it made sense here. Okay. That's uh, that's good news. <laughs> okay. so where are we going okay. now? Sorry? Where are we going now on this? That is a good question. I'm just making sure I've got <laughs> everything. I'm, um, let's see. So we've got um, the pedals, the buttons, preset overrides. And I, th oh, of course. And that was the other thing. The, the, if you use the, the, uh, the, the mission um, SP1 RJM, um, you do have the toe switch on the, uh, on the pedal. And um, as I mentioned, you need um, a second connection um, from the pedal's second output to the external switch input on the, uh, on the mastermind. And um, instead of editing it here, um, external switches are considered actual buttons. And so you would go to the buttons tab. And if you, uh, for example, plugged into the first external switch jack, this would be where you would edit it here. And so this is edited like any other button. Um, the only difference is that the, uh, the uh, switch only has one color. And so you can't, you know, you're, up, you're not gonna get it to be blue or anything like that, but we're, we'll set this typical, let, let's say you wanna, um, actually let's set it up to um, switch the pedal between two different, um, uh, switch the pedal between two different parameters, but would be a good example. So we'll go over here and we'll pick up uh, expression pedal number one here, and we'll go Mobius, and we will make it speed, and we'll Mobius speed, and we'll add up edit number two here. And we'll make this one Mobius level. And this can change. I mean, you can, you don't even need to be on the same pedal. I mean, you could have this device, you know, control something on the timeline and then press a button and switch it over to the Mobius. It's, you can completely change any of these parameters. Um, so, okay, so now we have these two new settings here, numbers one and two. And so we'll go over to buttons, edit the external switch. Um, we want to set it to IA or instant access, which was the uh, topic of our, uh, our previous webinar, if, you're, if you need more details on that. And um, we'll call this expression pedal, and we set a new action. And again, like before, we do a system expression pedal action, and we want to change expression pedal one. And when it's off, we want setting number one, which was the Mobius uh, speed, I believe, and number two was, Mo and you can actually look at the list to tell us. Um, yeah, this is Mobius level, and this one would be Mobius speed. Okay, so um, yeah, so that's all it does. So we, we've now, now when we press that button, it, well, it will start in the off position on the Mobius level, and then if you press it, it'll switch to Mobius speed, and, and vice versa as you press it. Um, when creating uh, buttons like this, you do need to pay attention. I, I mentioned this in the last webinar, but you probably want to know it here as well. You want to pay a special attention to these um, settings here. Um, basically, a button that has both of these turned on will always send its messages every time you change presets, which you probably don't want to do in this case. So you would turn these off um, so that, um, you know, so that basically the button only has an effect when you actually press it and it won't automatically switch when you change presets. Okay, well, I think that covers um, expression pedals. 
And so if there's no other more uh, questions, I think that's... Okay, hold on, let me just check. Uh, perfect, so helpful. Thank you, Andrea. And I don't see any other comments or questions or anything else. Um, you know, when we do post this on YouTube, um, you know, feel free to add comments there or, you know, send us an email. And we'd really like to know what to do in the future. We've got some ideas, but we're always looking for, you know, what the customers want. So yeah. I think we're going to be bringing on um, some of the guitar techs and some of the super users soon. Yeah, I think that there's uh, there's some guys out there that are doing some pretty amazing stuff with these products, and so uh, it'd be really good to get them on and and uh, get some get some tips and tricks. And so, but but certainly, if there's any topics that uh, anyone wants addressed, um, you know, even even you guys watching this later on on YouTube, um, you know, certainly let us know in the comments or, or email us, and uh, we'd be happy to um, you know cover any uh, specific topics that are needed. Yeah, we've been getting a lot of comments that the last, uh, I think we've done two that actually got recorded. There's uh, one or two that did not get recorded. So um, people have been saying that it's been really helpful. So we're glad to do this. It'll help cut down on tech support. And, um, you know, if it helps you guys out there to understand, you know, how this all works a little bit easier, that's great for us too. Okay. All right. Well, we're done then, um, unless there's any other questions. Um, I haven't seen anything yet. So, all right. Well, have a great day and thanks guys for attending and, and uh, for watching. Thanks.